Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the types of the beam. In this lecture, I will explain in detail about the different types of the beam, the figures of the beam, that how these beams looks like, and either these beam can resist the vertical forces or horizontal forces or both, and either these beams can resist the movement or not. So in this lecture, will be uh, in detail about the types of the beam and their support reactions. So starting from the beam, uh, there are mainly six uh, types of these uh, beams used in the civil engineering studies. The first one, the most common one is the simply supported beam. It is the simply supported beam. It is the most common beam used in civil engineering structures. Simply supported beam. And it looks like, like the beam having two supports at the ends. One is hinge support and one is the rotor support. So you should must know that which type of supports can resist which reaction forces. For example, in the rotor support can resist only the vertical forces. And this hinge support can resist the vertical forces as well as the horizontal forces. So we have uh, the characterization of the support is here, here is the hinge support, here is the rotor support. So hinge can support the both vertical and horizontal, but the rotor can support only vertical reaction, vertical uh, load. So we have three different types of reaction forces here. There's one, there's a second one, and there's a third one. So the reaction forces are the three. Why? This type of the beam cannot resist any moment. So we can say here that the capacity to resist the moment is zero. The second type of the beam is, is the cantilever beam. This is also mostly commonly used in the civil engineering structures called cantilever beam and it looks like like a beam here and it's only fixed in one end so we call this type of beam as the cantilever beam in which the other end is free and one end is fixed so it can resist you this is the property of the fixed support this is the fixed support here fixed support here in the cantilever beam so it is the property that it can resist the vertical force it can resist the horizontal force and it can also resist the movement. So we have two support reaction forces, one and second. So we have two support reactions and one moment here. You can see here the one moment. So we can write it here, it can resist the moment. Yes, it can resist the moment in the case of the cantilever beam. Now the third type of the beam is the fixed end beam. Fixed end beam. In this type of the beam, both supports are fixed. Both the ends are fixed. It is a modified form of the cantilever beam in which only one end is fixed. Here in this case, fixed end beam, it, it can be uh, seen from this name that it is fixed ended beam. It means that the both ends are fixed support. So it can also resist the vertical, horizontal and moment. Similarly, this support resists the vertical, horizontal force as well as the moment. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 are the support reaction forces and 1 and 2 are the moment capacity. So it can resist the moment at both the ends. Now coming to the fourth type of the beam, which is the continuous beam. It is the type of the beam having more than two supports. Like for example, as you can see here in all of these beams, there are generally two supports, one, two, here one, here also two. But this is the type of the beam here, but it's more than two supports. So you can see here there's a hand support, so it can resist the vertical and horizontal. There's a rotor support, it can resist the vertical. There's a rotor support, it can also resist the vertical. It is a hand support, it can resist the vertical and horizontal. So, but there is no fixed support in the case of the continuous beam. There's a type of the beam which is more than two supports, but there is no fixed support here. So the total number of uh, support reaction forces are one, two, three, four, five, and six. While the, it cannot resist any moment. So I can write it here, zero here. The other type of the beam is the overhanging beam. Overhanging beam. So in this type of the beam, the, the two portion of the beam is overhanging on each side. For example, I can write here like this one. 
as you can see here, these are the support, two rotor support here provided, and the, this side of the beam and this side of the beam is overhanging. As you can see here, there is no support provided at that ends. They are overhanging. That's why it's called as overhanging beam. So the two support directions will be rotor support. So one vertical here and one vertical here. So one and two. So two are the support friction forces while there is no fixed support so it cannot resist the movement. So hope you guys understand the different types of the beam, their shapes, that how they look like and what are the support reactions of these beams and their respective movements. Whenever there is a fixed support in the beam, so they will mostly resist the movement. They will always resist the movement. So this was all about the today topic. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.